The United Nations estimates that more than a million Uyghur Muslims have been sent to forced detention camps in China. They are being tortured and brainwashed inside these prison camps. Now more details have emerged of China's brutal crackdown on Uyghur Muslims. They reveal Chinese government's draconian measures to reduce birth rates among the Uyghur Muslim population. The move is part of a sweeping campaign by the CCP to curb the Muslim population. The campaign has been carried out over the past four years in the far west region of Xinjiang. It is leading to what some experts are calling a form of demographic genocide. The state regularly subjects minorities and minority Uyghur women to pregnancy checks. It forces intra-uterine devices and carried out sterilization and abortions on hundreds of thousands of minority women. This campaign relies on implanting intrauterine contraceptive devices in uh, women in Xinjiang on a mass basis. The goal is for over 80% of minority women to either have an IUD inserted or to be sterilized. The second aspect is a draconian punishment of illegal or extra births by uh, placing violators into internment camps. The third strategy is the mass sterilization of women. I came across uh, evidence that documents plans for mass sterilization in 2019 in one Uyghur county for 14% of all women of reproductive age While the Uyghur women are being increasingly subject to forced sterilization, the use of IUDs and sterilization has fallen across China. The Chinese government is encouraging some of the country's Han majority to have more children. Meanwhile, in Xinjiang, forced abortions and disappearances are the norm. Having too many children is a major reason minorities are sent to detention camps. Parents of three or more are taken away from their families unless they can pay huge fines. Police often raids homes, terrifying parents as they search for hidden children. Kasılık çıkan dar bosa, canağı, lager degen atı bar canağı, atı zamanğa kredi. Sol için de kalp korkadı koy. Ay, bol de deydi. Kazır o yerde mümkün tuğudan da korkadın çıkan mense. Korkadı, kalpın barı kazır. Misal, biz zentemengi jastardın özde korkadı. Ütken tuğu. Birth rates in Uyghur regions have plunged as a result of these extreme population control measures. Birth rates in Hotan and Kashgar fell by more than 60% from 2015 to 2018. New births were down nearly 24%, that is by nearly one-fourth, across Xinjiang last year alone, compared to just 4.2% across China. What Beijing has done in Xinjiang so far has qualified as cultural genocide. This is not a legally defined term, but what scholars and anthropologists mean by this is when a government is targeting the culture of an ethnic group, the culture, the religion, the language, that what makes it distinct. It's also referred to as ethnocide, cultural genocide, ethnocide, slow genocide, different ways of calling the same thing. China's brutal crackdown on Uyghur Muslims is not going unnoticed. The United States recently passed legisl legislation calling for sanctions against the Chinese officials responsible for repression of Uyghur Muslims in Xinjiang. Meanwhile, China has called these reports baseless. It is important that the international community speaks up firstly and clearly condemns what is going on. Uh, many Muslim countries have done the precise opposite, including Pakistan. They have actually sided with Beijing and supported the policies against the Muslims in China, which is um, really, frankly, a selling out of basic human values. It is important that the human, the global human community stands up for humanity and firstly speaks out and secondly also does something.